Well, I was actually going somewhere with Smokey Robinson. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So uh, apparently he uh, went on Vlad TV. So I'm, I'm going to take a detour here. Why do why do we black people go on Vlad TV? I have no idea. Why why, why are we making this person who has no discernible talent or skill whatsoever vulture, vulture. millions of dollars because he's he makes he's been on my show makes millions of yeah. dollars yeah. with black people mm-hmm. that he you know that come on and say things that are just you know viral all the time what. We were just talking about this other this platform with the guy that's getting fifty million dollars. They offered him fifty million dollars. Somebody I ain't never heard of before. Yeah, fifty million dollars. Vlad is literally makes like a million dollars a month off of us going on his platform saying things. So Smokey Robinson's ass dragged himself onto Vlad. I'm still that part pissed me off. I was like, why, why, legend, why? Why you couldn't go no place? You could go on the Chevy Shepherd and did this. That was just that was yeah. But, oh, Jennifer Hudson. Hello. Cameron Hall. Wanna... Anyway, so oh. he awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep it 100. Uh, so he went on and said that he cheated on his wife. Oh. He really regrets it. Really regrets it. Um, recently? No, this was back in, in the, the day. in the fifties. Oh, okay. This is probably the same. When he was smoky, of course he was cheating on his wife. Yeah, what do you mean? <laughs> Breaking news? What? <laughs> he cheated on his wife with Dinah Ross. Oh. He said, uh, yes. He said, I when I found out she could sing, and I'm not playing the video because I'm not giving homie any algorithms, period. Um, when I found out she could sing was when she moved away from the block because you know they grew up around the corner from each other. Rita Franklin was in the neighborhood as well. Brewster Detroit D, yeah. it was everything, right? Uh, she moved to a place called the Brewster Projects, and after we started Motown, she called me one day and she said, "Smoke, I got this group, you know, and I want you to hear hear us so that uh, you can sign us up at Motown." So I said, "Okay." I didn't know that she was a singer till then. They remained close friends and work associates, and eventually their platonic friendship became romantic. He said, yeah, it lasted probably longer than it should because I was married at the time. This uh, happened later after I got married and after I got them signed up at Motown. That's when that started. Ross had been married twice outside of Robinson, and she also, of course, had a relationship forever we didn't know with Barry Gordy because that that daughter, Rhonda, looked just like him, by the way. Like everybody knew, but nobody knew. Nobody said anything because people do, kept quiet. Anyway, um, so I'm saying he should have taken that to his grave. Well, he gonna There's, get the call. He gonna get the Quincy Jones call. Where, where you know, they Quincy like, worse than everybody. What are you yeah. talking about? Quincy no, done remember, told on Richard Pryor. What, no, what Quincy but remember Jones that? And then he was, he was, he'd been drinking, and he was eighty plus, and his kids and grandkids had to make that call. Mm-hmm. Was like, hey, man. This is not how this works. Like, sit down, take your take your Metamucil, and 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 pipe it down. And then he came back with a uh, apology, and he said, "I'm gonna stop drinking." And then the documentary came out. Smoking the same way. You get to a certain age, and your filter just fails, and you don't, you know, because you you ain't supposed to speak on the dead. Yeah. How you used to hump the dead? That I mean, dude, that's no, but, like but Don Ross still living though. That's his... I mean those those tales, you know. Back <laughs> in the, back in... Like I'm saying, I'm some saying. people would I'm argue saying. with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Y'all on some bull crap. All but right, ain't supposed to tell them type of stories. They moved out years ago. They yeah. moved in the Brewster projects, and then she peed on him. That's what. No, I mean. that is keep that. I'm 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 leading a delegation that people should. Keep their mouths closed about things that happened 50 years ago yeah, that ain't yeah. none of our business anyway. Like, there's no value to bring that out. Are you dropping a, a record, sir? Like, what is Probably. happening? What? Probably, right? Probably. No, this is horrible. He's this still is terrible. singing. He's still, is he? yeah, he's still I, singing. I don't care what they say yeah. about me. He's still yodeling. Okay. He's dropping a 12 inch. <laughs> Does he yeah. have, well, that would be news. If Smokey Robinson got a 12 inch, I'm here for 